All right, so today we are going to talk about the sales process and uh, go over a few things to help you close the deal. So, step one of the sales process, okay? I have these labeled on here, steps one through six, so I'm going to just read the process and then I'm going to explain a little bit more in depth to try to help you, okay? So, step one, the front talk slash warm up. All right, let them know who you are, what you're going to do, and what you expect from them. Make sure you have all your solo information answered prior, entered prior to arrival. Um, upon finishing your front talk, ask for the bill. While you're waiting for the bill, use your time to start finding things, complimenting things around their house. Uh, remember, make a friend first. People want to do business people they like and trust. So use this time to do some rapport building. Um, and once you get that bill uploaded into solo, um, let them know you'll, what you'll be doing next and why, which will be the audit. So your front talk, guys. The purpose of your front talk is twofold. Um, one, it kind of lets you introduce yourself, uh, but it kind of sets the expectations for the entire appointment. Not only the expectations for the customer, but what they can expect from you. I think it's very important at the beginning of any sales process that you set a clear, concise expectation, all right, for both parties. And that way, in the end, um, you can tie everything together. So every good story is gonna have an opening, gonna have a body, and gonna have a conclusion. The conclusion is gonna wrap the body and bring it back to the opening with a big statement, right? All right, so here's the front talk that I have here. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, I'm Sean with Solar Energy Auditors. I'm here as our, part of our local energy awareness program. Now this program was put together in conjunction with FPL or whatever the local energy company is um, to help educate homeowners on energy efficiency. Instead of spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on television, television radio ads, our company believes in educating homeowners face-to-face -face and relying on word-of-mouth advertising, which is the most effective form of advertising. Now, we know this is effective because hundreds of thousands of customers across the country are already enjoying the benefits of our system. Now, as I'm sure they informed you on the phone, I will be doing a brief energy audit looking specifically at things in your home where you consume the most energy. I'll look to see what programs you qualify for and how we could start saving you money today. All I ask is that you both watch and participate in the audit and the audit and answer a five question survey giving me your honest opinions and feedback. Fair enough, great. So now you have set the expectation for the visit. You're going to be doing an audit, you require their participation, you require them to answer questions. There will be a test in the end, right? You are setting the precedence. That way you have no objections as, oh, my wife's busy in the other room. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, if that's the case, let's come back at another time. What's gonna be a better time for you and your wife? Oh, well, no, she doesn't need to be here. You can just talk to me. Well, I'd love to, Mr. Jones, but my company does have a, a policy that requires me to have both homeowners present. So the only way I get credit for being here is if I get both of your signatures in the end of my five question survey. Um, so like I said, I'd love to do it with just you, but when's a good time when both you and her could be here? It won't take me long. I'll give you the Reader's Digest version, okay? Whatever you have to say to make it apparent that they both need to be there. Listen, guys. Nobody's making a big decision without the other person. So you need to have both people in the room. If you don't, when it's time to make that decision, the person that wasn't there didn't get to hear any of the benefits. Guess what doesn't make sense without benefits? Price or cost, okay? It will never make sense if they didn't get to see the benefits. Do you wanna rely on them to sell your product or do you wanna sell your product? So find a time when both people can be there. It's vitally important. Stick to your front talk. It gives you a reason in the end to reintroduce now your word of mouth advertising program with a today deal, okay? So step two of the sales process, the audit, all right? Take your time on the audit. Get the customer involved. Your job is not to tell them how bad things are, but it is to assess the home, all right? It's not yet time to make them feel the pain. Uh, just provide good information, helpful hints moving forward. Make sure to take all your necessary pictures, including pictures of the roof. Check your perfect picture packet to make sure you have everything, all right? So make sure you're using this perfect picture packet. It makes not only the process go faster, it makes you more legitimate, one, but it also helps your installation process go a lot faster if the install company has all needed pictures. If somebody has to go back and take pictures, it's not only gonna cost you time, but it's gonna cost you money. They do charge you to have to go back and take pictures. So make sure you're taking your time, take all the necessary pictures, okay? Step three, get to the table slash PowerPoint. Now, when you're coming into a home, where do you typically wanna set up? Where do you typically wanna set your stuff, okay? 
I wanna set my stuff wherever I'm going to be closing the deal, which is going to be, most of the time, the kitchen table, all right? So make sure as soon as you come in, when in control, take control, take control of that moment and set your stuff at the kitchen table. All right, that way you can be ready when the closing, when it's closing time, you're already set up, everything's already over there. It's not an uncomfortable or awkward moment trying to stand up and close or at that point trying to get to the table. Do it early on, all right? So while you're waiting for the numbers to come back from Solo, we all know once you put your information in, it takes 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the time of day, to get a proposal back from Solo, all right? So while you're waiting, um, this is a great time um, to, to shine and, and answer all the common questions about Solo. This is your time to build value, all right? Um, set up a place where everyone is comfortable and everyone can see the screen. Take them through a whole PowerPoint, making sure to answer all their questions. Be careful not to ask open-ended questions or go over things that will leave things unanswered. Make sure you're leading the conversation in a polite way um, and, and don't be, don't be you know, intimidating anyone or leaving someone out. It's very important, especially if you are a woman salesperson, to concentrate a lot on the woman. Make eye contact with the wife. Don't offend the wife by just talking to the husband. Men, same thing, but I think it's even more prominent with women. So make sure you are not offending the other person. Even though the wife doesn't seem interested at all, maybe at the end of the day, she's the decision maker or vice versa. The husband doesn't seem to care, wife wears the pants. Make sure you are asking questions throughout the PowerPoint. The PowerPoint is designed to ask questions, redundant rhetorical questions, yes. Seems silly to ask that question, but it keeps them engaged, okay? You are engaging them. You are letting them draw their own conclusions, right? No one wants to be sold, but everybody loves to buy. So do a good job of educating them because the logical conclusion to every good presentation is a sale. Educate them so they can make that buying decision in the, in the end, okay? Step four, by this point, you should have solo back. So you're going to go over your solo proposal. All right, it's time for the wow factor. Solo is a great tool. It gives you an opportunity to show them a 25-year savings. It gives you an opportunity to show them what the panels are going to look like on their house. Okay, it also gives you an opportunity to talk about upgrades. All right, you're going to have your expense sheet with you the expense sheet we just made, and you're gonna go over the air conditioner, you're gonna go over the water heater, you're gonna go over insulation, pool pump, whatever it may be to help them make the most savings in this decision, to save the most money, all right? Guys, you have to actually sell these items. You can't just, just glaze over a water heater and expect them to make a decision. You have to know about a hybrid, you have to know about a tankless and why it would benefit them. Okay, there is a cost associated with those items. So yes, it's saving them money in the long run, all right, but you still have to sell it. If you're just putting it in there, you're not gonna get nearly the response that you're hoping for, okay? Uh, remember our company model, reduce before produce. Now is the time to go over things in the audit that can improve the quality of their home, minimize their system size. Do not just add things without going over um, and, and forgetting to add them to your description. So make sure adding to them to your description and to your price, custom add or whatever it may be. If you do not know the price, get it from House Call Pro, all right? Once you have the best solution for the customer, figure out um, three price points, all right? Write them down on your closing form. You have the stay with electric, the 12 year number, the 25 year number, all right? Present the three option, options and ask them which one is going to be best for them. Circle the one that they choose, um, thank them for their time and present the questionnaire, the questionnaire, the five question survey. So they chose option C or option B, uh, they chose 25 years, circle that. Hey guys, thank you so much for your time. All right, what do they expect you to do at that point? Why do we do that? At that point, what the customer is expecting you to do is to try to close them. Since you don't do that, it takes their guard down. So the reason we don't try to sell as soon as they circle the option they choose is because we want to take the air out of the room. Let them have a moment, let it settle down, okay? Present the survey, make sure you're cleaning up your stuff and getting everything ready. Five question survey here, guys. Um, just answer questions one through five. Question five is the most important to me. It says, what features would appeal to you the most? Okay, this is your time to reiterate 
everything that they would have liked about it. Is it the clean energy? Is it the fact of not having to rely on the, the electric company anymore? Is it the new air conditioner? Is it the new pool pump? What is it you like best about the idea of having a solar energy system in the future? Okay, boom, present the survey, be quiet, let them discuss it, let them talk to each other, all right? At the end, at the, at the end of that portion of time, you're gonna go over step, step five, which is the questionnaire slash initial close. What do we mean by this? Well, what we mean is you're gonna go over each question, question by question, okay? Question one is, after the audit, I feel my home energy efficiency is A, good, B, fair, or C, poor, okay? How do they personally rate their home after you're done with your audit, all right? You guys said C, poor, I would agree, okay? If they say A, good, and it wasn't good, you need to address that, okay? Question two, clean renewable energy for me and my family is A, not important, B, important, or C, extremely important, all right? Address it again. You guys put extremely important? Absolutely, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. I think it's extremely important too. Think about it. On Solo, it said you were gonna offset 11 tons of CO2. Bring that stuff back up, okay? This is your chance. The amount of money I could save over the life of an energy system is zero to 5,000, five to 10,000, or 10,000 or more. This is your opportunity to make sure they believe in the savings. If they put zero to 5,000 and you figured out 15,000, there's a problem. You need to address that problem before you go on, okay? Well, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, we figured out earlier with your saving sheet that you were actually gonna save about $15,000. Do you not believe that number or did you just forget it? Okay, maybe not you know, quite so, I don't wanna attack them, but I do wanna know why they don't believe the savings number. If they don't believe the savings number, guess what it's gonna be hard to do? Close them. It's gonna be hard to close somebody who doesn't believe there's a true savings. So find out why they don't believe it, go back, get a number they believe before you go on, okay? Question four, would you like to have a solar energy system in the future? A, yes, B, no, all right? If you cannot get a yes there, we cannot close, okay? You cannot close. Question five is important, why? Because they're about to tell you how to close them. They're about to tell you the four things that were most important to them that you guys talked about. Oh, I love the fact that I'm gonna get a new air conditioner. I love the fact that we're gonna be better for the environment. The savings was awesome. Whatever it is, they're about to tell you how to close them, okay? So listen to them. Take notes in your mind so when you're closing later, you have something to refer to, all right? All right, so let's read the, the rest of question five, or step five, should I say. Um, go over every answer. We just talked about that. Uh, do they believe the savings? They believe the bill will continually go up. How efficient do they think their home is? Do they want to have a system in the future? If you cannot get a yes, they want to have a system in the future, you cannot proceed. We talked about that. Uh, once they're done with the survey, go over every answer. If the answers need to be changed, make sure they initial them, all right? Once you get a yes, they'd like to have a solar energy system in the future, now you can tell them about the amazing word of mouth program. Hey, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, remember when I got here earlier, remember what you said, and we told you that word of mouth advertising was our most effective form of advertising? Well, let me ask you a question. If you guys were enjoying all the benefits we discussed here today, are you the type of people that would tell somebody about it? Man, I thought you were. It sounds like you'd be perfect for our word of mouth advertising program, okay? Okay, so what I say is, okay guys, anytime I can see that you can see that solar energy would be a benefit to, to you, all I'm allowed to do is tell you about the special word of mouth advertising program that we offer to homeowners in your area. Before I get started, this program has two stipulations. Write them down. Take this paper back out or one of your papers back out and on the top, any paper you want, I don't care. Write a one and write the first stipulation, write a two and write the second stipulation, okay? Two stipulations. Um, all right. Uh, one is a simple yes or no that you'd like to have solar energy today. Now, that doesn't mean you can't have it next week, next month, or even next year, okay? But, what it, but it just means this amazing program would not be available to you then. Second and most importantly though, what's more important than saying yes or no? This is no savings equals no. If you can't see how this program would save you money, just tell me no. Fair enough? Great. All right, once they commit to that, 
They have given you permission to show them the program and close them, all right? That's where you have your marketing agreement sheets. These might be different from office to office. Your marketing agreement says, congratulations, you have been selected by our SEA team to participate in our special advertising program. By agreeing to this program, you will receive the following. One, a custom and complimentary installation at absolutely no cost, all right? So normally, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, as you'll notice from the solo paperwork, now on your solo and Titan docs, there is a spot where it says 1,000 down, 2,000, okay? This is where you're gonna get to waive that. Normally it's $1,000 up front and you have as so much as $2,000 in the end just for installation. But under this program, we're gonna give you a custom and complimentary installation at absolutely no cost, okay? Number two, the, inductory, the introductory interest rate of 2.9% will be extended for the life of the loan. Okay, is that 100% true? Will it be extended anyway? Yes, it will. So if you wanna change this per office, you're more than welcome to. This is what I like to use. I want to give them a reason to move. It's the perception of the deal more than the deal. Okay, can they get 2.9% later on? Absolutely. Maybe you wanna start at 3.9, okay? And maybe you wanna come down to 2.9 if they say yes today, right? You have to have a reason, guys, that makes them move today, all right? So my suggestion is start at 3.9. When you're in solo originally, come down to 2.9 and show them the difference right then on the spot and blow them away, okay? Number three, $500 bonus for everyone you recommend who decides to use SCA for their needs, okay? So the third thing they're gonna get is for every person who chooses to use SCA in the future, they're gonna receive $500 cash, all right? This says here, this contract is between, you're gonna put the homeowner's name and solar energy auditors represented by your name. I, person's name, agree to allow SDA to put a sign up during install and for up to 30 days after installation is complete. I agree to allow my job at, put their address, blank, 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 to be installed at the convenience of SDA along with other jobs in my area. Finally, upon completion of the installation, I agree to provide at least three references of friends and family that I know could benefit from FCA services. Okay, they accept and you both sign. Okay, so let me just read over this, make sure I didn't leave anything out. Um, all right, this does not include things such as the design fee, normal fees. All right, so there's all different kinds of things you can put, guys. But the, 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 the final thing is, at the end, you are gonna ask them, so all I need to get this wonderful program started for you is a signature right here where it says customer signature, STFU, and allow them to sign. If they object or have an objection, now will be the first time you'll have to close. And you're gonna identify, isolate, overcome the objection as you'll be trained. But hopefully this sales process makes sense, guys. These sheets are all available to you. Make sure you are using them. Make sure you have a process. Why do we give you a process? So you don't have to think. You can spend more time subconsciously having a conversation, worried about your posture, talking about pictures on the wall, cars in the driveway, if you have a process and always know what's next. If you're having to think about what you have to do next, then you aren't gonna be as concentrated on your posture. You aren't gonna be concentrated on how you're sitting. You're not gonna be concentrated, am I being too aggressive? Okay, or hmm, am I connecting? Where am I missing it? Use these cheat sheets to help you close the deal. All right, that's what they're there for. All right, guys, till next time.